Hi everyone. So I wanna take a few minutes to talk about why it is that the Rebbe told us to learn about Mashiach and redemption. So we know that one of the things the Rebbe said is that we have to say Ad Masai with an MS. We have to say till when with a truth, with an inner feeling of sincerity, okay? So learning about Mashiach and understanding what it is helps us do that, right? Because you can't want something if you don't know what it is that you're looking forward to. Um, I'm gonna talk in another clip about how wanting Mashiach with an MS can't just be about not wanting suffering anymore, because that's a really important distinction to make. Obviously, that's part of it, and I'm gonna talk about that in another clip, and I wanna focus on that right now. But a very important part of anticipating and wanting Mashiach and asking for Hashem, Hashem for Mashiach with sincerity is to know what Mashiach is. And so you can't do that if you don't know about it, if you're not learning about it. Okay, so that's the first idea. The second idea is one of my favorite stories. Again, if you watched my nine minute intro to the Two Alts campaign, and you already heard all of this, so you don't need to watch this video. But it's always good to learn something again anyway, right? We learn that you can learn something 101 times and then, then you really learned it. So continue watching. But my point is, there's an amazing story about Rabbi Yosef Cairo. He's the author of the Shulchan Aruch. He lived at the same time, the same generation as the Arizal. And he had been breaking his head over an idea in, in Torah that he, he could not understand. And he finally understood it. And it took him a very long time. Now, we know that any codifier of Jewish law is not just a very smart man, okay? He's a holy man. He has Ruach HaKodesh. He's on a higher level than the average Jew, by far. And after he came to understand this idea, he was walking through the, the, the hallway of the, of the study hall, the yeshiva, and he heard two young students nowhere near his level of holiness, understanding the idea very quickly. And he got very nervous. He thought maybe it meant there's a flaw in his soul or there was something wrong. So he, he goes to the Ariza, who at that time was a known holy man who could peer into your soul and tell you what your tikkun is and what was going on. And Rabbi Yosef Cairo asked the Arizals, like, how, why did it take me so long to get this idea when these other students are, are, are getting it so easily? This, is, this doesn't make sense. And so the Rizal explained to him, there's nothing wrong with your soul. What happened was you toiling over this idea caused this idea to become more available to the consciousness of others. It really it like brought it down. So on a deeper level, besides the very important need to know what Mashiach is so that we can actually want it and anticipate it, there's also something going on just from the very act of our learning. We cause these ideas to as we bring them into our consciousness, we make it available to the global community that these ideas are easier for people to grasp, easier for people to talk about and understand so that we're not the only ones wanting Mashiach, but that everybody wants Mashiach because everybody understands what it is. So you're really accomplishing a lot by learning. And so this is my little clip to encourage you to stay tuned, watch my little clips. I'm gonna keep them real short, bite-sized ideas so that you can go into your day knowing about Mashiach and anticipating his arrival. And you can join me in begging Hashem, not just because of what you want to get away from, but what you are running towards.